Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. We have a beautiful morning here and we're ready to get to work. Although I have been very busy lately. As you can see, we have a, a bit of a solar panel that we're standing on right now. I have fully built up and upgraded the solar cells in the solar panels and got the array ready to rock so that it is providing my base with all the power it could possibly need. And as we zip through the trees here and fly on over to the base, you see that <gasps> all of the H2O2 generators are built and functional. Well, I mean, the rest of the building certainly isn't, but at least these are online and they're getting ice through a functional well, which I have to say was probably one of the most boring couple hours of my life. I literally just mindlessly welded stuff and put on a movie on my second monitor. <laughs> and uh, that was one of my evenings was just watching a movie as I mindlessly welded stuff. Yeah, but it's done now. We also, at the same time, ran out a few of these side tubes. Um, I didn't really do any measurements. I just sort of went out until I felt that that was long enough. We are going to put our resource processing and storage facility here. Uh, this building is going to have to come down eventually. And we are going to put landing pads over here. And uh, maybe this doesn't need to come down. We'll see. We'll see whether or not it fits. But we're going to put a few landing pads over here for our various ships. And then build it up. I want to get it done this episode. So we're, we're going to have like a little, um, I don't know, montage, fast forward, something in the middle. But let's get to work. All right. So with our pipe coming out of the ground here, we are connected up to the rest of the base. We have to think about where exactly and how exactly we're going to do these ducts. So what I'm thinking is we can put a junction here. And on top of this junction, we're going to have a bit of a walkway. And I want this walkway to be about, say, three wide. And right off of this junction, we're going to have little, it's kind of like a, um, oh, would be the best way to do it like a little leaf coming off of it. So we're gonna have a little three wide walkway that's gonna go out for three. It's sort of like a little stem. And then once we're here, we're gonna have something like so. And it'll be a little platform. And so we can do, this will be for the small ships. I'm thinking something approximately this. If I do yay, all right, all right, all right, let me cook, let me cook. This size, and of course I square it off, I will have six by six internal. Assuming these sides here are gonna have like some sort of decoration or a railing on them or something. But like a um, seven by seven, nine by nine ish area to land a ship. And I think that'll be more than enough for our small grid ships. Because we look, we got like one block, two, three, four, five, six ish, seven ish long. So a seven by seven. 9x9 nine nine area should work. Let's see what this is fully sized here. Mm. It is maybe a tiny bit too small. I can always just make this one bigger. Ah, there. That's much better. Yeah, so instead of having 3x3 three three for these little blocks here, we're going to have 4x4. Four four. So, it got too wide 
wider in each direction, and that just makes it feel much better for the size of uh, landing pad that we're going to want in this playthrough. And we can just do the exact same thing on the other side. Oh, oh, oh no. Shed's in the way. It's got to come down. Random stuff in this shed. Hmm. All right. Nice. So we got these two landing pads. They are looking amazing. And off of here, we can have this walkway come forward. And we do need to drop it down a few blocks here. So I think we could do it with stairs. Either with these big stairs or the graded stairs. Which we can do with the graded. Let's grab some construction components. And we need to go down a couple blocks. So we'll start a couple blocks back. And we can drop the stairs there. And we'll be bringing the blocks down with it. So we can give it a nice framing. Oh, and that's quite nice. We can just walk straight up here. Walk out. We'll have our different platforms that we can move to. We can decorate all this. And now, we can head back this direction. Of course, we'll continue this three-wide walkway. But once we get back here, we'll stay three-wide away from these. So we'll make sure we've got these three. And then, I'm thinking, we go wide. And we go full length. We align it with these two over here. Whoa, that's going to look good. And I believe that's going to be long enough for any dropship sized or larger ship that we're ever going to bring down to this planet. So we're going to have our two small ship docks. And going out through back here, we're going to have a single large ship dock. I don't think I need to make another set of two small ship docks. I think if anything, the pancake is going to live here because it's atmospheric and it works on this planet. And then we'll have the specter if it's ever parked here. And then a big ship if it's ever parked here. And then if the rare occasion where I have multiple large ships, I can just park one into the dirt and whatever one needs to be connected can connect up. I think that can work. So, this is how many blocks long? 31 blocks long. So, we want this to be an odd number going this way as well, so that way we can have a nice centered connector. 31, maybe, let's go check to see how wide this bad boy is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eh, thirteen. Say about four, fourteen, fifteen. So, yeah, we get about a two to one ratio. If this thing is thirty-one, we can do a fifteen wide. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe more like a seventeen or a nineteen. So we have a little bit of wiggle room for wider ships in the future. And uh, we can make a nice big large ship dock. Let's lay it out. I think that width looks good. So we have nine blocks in between the wall and the middle block, then another nine, and then the wall block. So we've got the two nines, 18, center, which would be 19, then the two ends make it 21. So that gives us plenty of width. So that means that if we want to, we could create a ship that is another three block wider or four block wider or so we could add in essentially what would be like a four engine wide ship in the future and that would work in this landing spot so i like that because that gives me lots of flexibility in the future in order to land whatever ship i want here in the future so let's lay it all out now doing the perimeter here 
I see that this corner is pretty close to the voxel. Now, when I build these up, they're still going to have this grass be sticking through them. And that, honestly, is kind of annoying. I don't like that. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to take this up by one more. And what I can do over here is right at the entrance, I can put down a graded staircase going up. And then these can be slanted. Oh, those can be armor slopes. And then the platform would be a 19 by whatever length this is in the center. Oh, I think that would look real good. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, that is a nice and chonky landing pad. So you can come up here. You've got your from the ground level you can come up the staircase see the two small ships and then come back this way walk up this staircase and have the big ship oh this is gonna be great okay so all I really need to do now is I mean the basics pipe them up build them up and uh get the the ships over here and get them plugged in uh let's get the pipes let's get the things laid out and then we'll come back to we got to take the drills off the pancake and put some welders back onto it because we got to go into mass building mode okay so with the conveyor system complete we could theoretically dock the ships right now uh but what I'd like to do is I think that the interior bits of these platforms are going to need to be upgraded. We, I don't think light armor is going to cut it. I think we're going to put heavy armor here. Because I don't want these things to get barbecued. And over on this large platform, we're going to very strategically... We'll park the ship, and then we'll see where the thrusters are sitting, and we'll only put heavy armor there. But for these, I think we just take the center core of 3x3 three three and make that all heavy armor. So, cut this back like that, and we can block out this little 3x3 three three area of heavy armor. Oh, 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 excellent. It's a little hard to tell, but this is your light armor, and this is your heavy armor. He's got the extra cross beams and such. And that gives us a nice 3x3 three three area here. So 3 that way, 3 that way. Every single direction is 3 by th is three directions away from the, the connector. So we can have whatever thrusters we want pointing downwards. We're not going to barbecue our landing site that much. Excellent. Let's do the same over here. All right. Two landing pads ready to get the welds done to them. Now, I have a couple ideas. I could... I could theoretically... Cut some of this off or go to the other side and cut it off. I could extend out the uh, conveyor, bring it up make like a nested piston system, put a bunch of welders down here, then slowly inch it across and weld them all up that way. Which sounds ridiculous. Sounds fun. But a much easier way would just be to, to re-equip the pancake here with some welders and get them working. Welders re-equipped. Pancake. Lights activated. Uh, drill taken off the groups there. Uh, weapons, uh, welders. There we go. Uh, there we go. And we can grab these welders here and turn them into pancake two welders. Save that up. 
you know, put that group onto our bar so that we can just toggle them on when we need to. Then we don't have to worry about having to hold down the button. Okay, so that means everything we need on our ship here should just be a bunch of steel plate. We do have some iron on here from our last uh, resource run, so... We need to get rid of that. And now we can fill ourselves with steel plate. And uh, we do need some grids as well for those uh, heavy armor bits. And we'll get every last piece of steel plate from this grid onto the ship. And hopefully the ship will be balanced, which it probably won't. And this will be hilarious. Let's save in case this goes horribly wrong. And let's order from our assembler a lot more steel plate because we are probably going to need it. All right, let's go. Little bit of down tip into the left, but not not terrible. Let's get to building. Wow. We went through materials pretty quickly there. That entire load, every last bit of steel plate I had on my entire grid, was that. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> and we didn't even get enough metal grids for these. Oh my god, we need more. Yeah, we're missing grids. Oh god, we need way more grids. Because <gasps> these are 135 steel plate each. Oh my god. Oh, That's painful. Alright, well, I'm going to be here for a while. Let's get to work. And as I'm working away here, you may be wondering, where's my little robot buddy that's going to help me? Uh, he kind of is broken. Like, like, seriously, he cannot handle a grid this large. I have a well going down to water level, going down 750 meters, and I have a solar tower going up to the, the canopy, which is another several hundred meters. The little dude sat there at his little station and was, like, mapping for, like, half an hour and then didn't do anything after he had finished mapping. So I'm assuming that his brain just cannot handle a grid of this size and of this enormity. Ah, well, that's unfortunate, because it's the only way I'm going to be able to live here, as I smash things, is uh, with a grid of this size. Alright! So we've made some pretty good progress. Now, <laughs> this is going to take a long time. I may not get the large platform fully built out in this episode. But at least I got the small platforms mostly built out. And when I say mostly, I mean that I'm missing grids. Which I just have to build at some point. <laughs> and put them in there. Won't be that hard. That's just structural integrity stuff. That's not, like, you know, required. Um, take my things off of recharge before I press B. <laughs> and why, am I, why is my cargo full? What am I full of? Random junk. Okay. Let's go land. We've got our new landing spot, so why not use it? Although, we're going to probably land on our uh, seismic surveyor first, aren't we? I may. I may want to trim this guy off. So that way I can land properly. I'll just put him in replace them or put them in a new location next time we head out to do some surveying. But we can head on down here. Line ourselves up. And turn off our dampeners. Let ourselves relax onto our mag plates here. And then connect up. 
Oh, yeah, baby. And I can leave the lights on, the specter, to uh, have the base be fully illuminated. So there we go. Our two small ships are currently parked. And I'd like to do that as well for the large ship, which I don't think that'll be that hard. I mean, we probably have tons of fuel by now, right? Pop into here. We're going to turn our dampeners on. We're going to go look at our tanks here. We are 82%. So we're going to take these off a stockpile. It's saying 17 because that's considering all of these tanks, which is not realistic. Okay, so we have 82% hydrogen. Our dampeners are on. Our gyro is on. Like our override. We're going to come down here and we are going to cut ourselves free right here. Okay. Save scum. Because who knows what could happen. Okay, the thrusters kicked in. Cut these back a few. Seem to be holding position. Just deposit those resources. Slowly listing, but that's okay. Now we don't really need to do anything but slide to the left. Or slide to the right. Other left. Barbecue everything just a tiny bit as we pass over it. And stop up here. And then oh, flatten ourselves out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Come on. Do some wiggles here. We are slowly listing left, aren't we? Oh, come on. Oh, thing needs more gyro. Okay. Should get ourselves down. And connected here as we are slowly listing right. Oh, there we go. I think the, uh, oh, now we're slowly listing backwards. I think we're good. <laughs> we're parked. And you can see 82% because we are no longer connected to the grid, uh, at least by merged to the grid. It's treating our uh, hydrogen levels separately. But if we check, we should be continuing to gain and it's a little bit slower now because these are also gaining because these are on these are also built up but we can just go for stockpile and you can see here we're back to gaining 400 liters a second excellent now something i'd like to do is you can see that the the drop the like i've got the i've got the landing gear and then we've got the thrusters I think I'm going to build out at least to cover where the landing gear are. So let's grab some steel plate. And let's do that. It's just light armor here. I'm just going to come back to here. And seam on the other side. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the ship up a couple meters. And I'm going to have it hover. I'm going to very quickly run down here and fill in all these blanks. And then run back up into the ship and land it. Okay. I think I can do this. Got to turn the tanks off of stockpile again. Make sure our dampeners are on. We're going to level the ship. Go. I don't want to be hovering here too long. Okay. We got our, all of our spots so we can put our landing gear down. See, even just that quick, 
one. I was like lined up when I took off. You can see how much the ship was listing just with that little bit. All right, our first bit of landing gear locked. And let's grab the spectator camera and check. We do need to slightly turn to the right, ever so slightly. We're gonna go to our mag plates and we're gonna turn off auto lock for a second here. And I think I'm going to turn off my dampeners and we're just going to quickly disable and re-enable the, uh, the mag plates to slowly let myself down. Okay, we are down and now I can ever so gently wiggle myself to the right here. Just give it a little wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. That's better. That's closer to where I want it to be. And then I think just a little thrust to the right. Just that tiny bit of down thrust to take the weight off of the them so I, they can slide. And that looks excellent. That looks nicely aligned. Maybe a, just an, a scooch back. And now, park for good. Done. Put these tanks. I don't, really, I don't need to put them on override. Because these tanks will fill up and these are filling and whatever. It's all good. And the mag plates I'll put back onto uh, auto lock. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Deposit those materials we have here. So now we can walk down here, walk right out onto this platform. And I should. Oh, I might be. I could do a 180 with this, so it's facing the other direction, so I can just walk onto the, it from the front here. But whatever, this is good enough. So that way, we can come from here, walk up the staircase. We've got the specter. We've got the pancake, and we can walk through here and come on up right into the dropship. And if I'm not mistaken. We should be, yes, just barely high enough with the thrusters here that I should be able to build underneath them and build that out. But something I'm actually contemplating is whether or not I even want to put armor there to just have the thrusters barbecue it when I could just do this and uh, not. <laughs> Just do this and just leave some thruster holes in the, the platform. Why not save myself the, the trouble of having uh, all of that steel plate and uh, metal grids <laughs> for the thrusters. I just have to make sure in the future that... Uh, Whatever ships I bring down have the same thruster configuration. <laughs> All right. I think this large platform, that's going to take me a while. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get that done today. But what I do want to get done is I do want to decorate one of these platforms and really flesh it out of what it could be. And actually, part of that might be to cut it back slightly. Not exactly sure. These are a little blocky. I mean, they certainly work. I could take them and just like put some blocks down in the corner and uh, make it sort of like they're on suspend, like um, like they're suspended in the air, they're on stilts. Um, but I could also, if I wanted to, I could cut down these corners and I could do something similar to what this is doing here. Which, oh, I do need to uh, add a corner piece, which this going into, oh, I'm going to drop some steel plate, but that's okay. 
going into d d d d here might be wonderful. Yeah, you see, see how that corner looks kind of cool now? I wonder if I should do that in these corners. You know, just take the edge off of it. Eh, I'm not sure. I think that may make the uh, platforms a little less uh, blocky and better suited here. But something we're definitely going to do is surround them with railings. Because I don't want to fall off when I'm walking around my ship. And with these uh, railings, we can do the railing straights along here. And then we can do the diagonals there. And that looks like it fits perfectly. Yeah. Totally, that's what we're going to do. So we'll cut down all these corners and we'll add some railings. Okay. I like that shape a lot better. It's way better than just the blocky thing here. I mean, this functions. This is better. But now we need to make it even better by adding in some lights. So we're going to take out our lights here and go on through. We could add corner lights pointing inwards. Those always work well. But we have got the inset light. So we could put an inset light right into the surface here. Mm. Now, how do I want to do this? Now, something I've done before is putting corner lights like this right around the connector. Uh, now, how do I want to put this? Alright, let's start that whole section over again. All right. Okay, that looks way better here. The railings, the cutting off of the little corners. That's a much better shape. Compared to over here, yeah, it's too blocky. I mean, this functions, but eh, it doesn't look that good. So, the next thing we need to do is we need to light this baby up. Now, we do need some, like, landing lights. We also do need to give some actual, like, spotlights covering this area. And I think a good one could be this guy. The light box 30 degrees. I think this would be good. If we take get rid of the railings for a second... Uh, If I put this light box on the side of something, it'll act essentially like a street lamp. And what I'm thinking is that we could have uh, something coming up here that would be basically be street lamping onto this. And it would be giving it the light that it needs. I think that'll look pretty good. So, then the question is, what to, to use there? What to pillar up with? Because if I do something like a column, that does have side connections to it. So, I could put the light box on it. Hmm. Let's see. If, if I column up, say, right here, we'll just drop this column down so it looks... Like it's coming up all the way here. And I bring it up like so. Uh, this height? Sure, let's try that out. And I get the light box on it. What kind of vision does that give me? It's not... Okay. Okay. Let's turn off the rest of the lights in this area. So that we can see what that does. And I mean, first off, that's a gorgeous view out into the space here with, there's the solar panel up there blocking a little bit of the light. But God, it's gorgeous out there. Okay. That's what it's going to look like. Let's, uh -huh. all right, welders. <laughs> welders. 
Right. Let's see what that light box can do. Let's increase the radius. And see what that does. Okay, so that does increase the sort of the width of it. It probably just increases the range of the light, of how far it goes. So if I want these to spotlight on my ships, on these landing spots, to illuminate the landing spots, I'm probably going to need that pillar to be directly here, directly in line, or directly here, directly in line with the connector. Because what I could do is I could sneakily connect it up. I could, I could, I could, I could. We could do a pillar right here. But I wonder if that's far enough back. You see how when this is coming down, it's at this angle. So if I raise this up another, say, three or four blocks, it would probably be aiming at the center. Okay, let's try that. So we'll take this up to the same height. And let's go three blocks higher. Yeah, four for good measure. Let's take that thing off here. It's going to get real dark here for a second. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's into the dark. That's the name of this series. That's for sure. And let's get it up here. And that... Oh, nice. Okay, that feels like it's pretty much aiming directly at that platform. Maybe one shorter, so that way the light comes back a little bit, I want to say. So it's getting the, the entire bit of the platform, not too much over the edge. But that's really good. Maybe even if I want to, instead of having it... Like, this height, but instead of having it there, move it back to. Move it up against this thing. Or move it back one, even. Just up against that. Yeah. I think maybe move it down one and back one. That, that would be perfect positioning for it. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's, that's glorious. Look at that. That just perfectly illuminates the... Uh, the landing site. <laughs> Perfection! So we just need to repeat that over here. Oh, oh that's so excellent. <laughs> that looks so good. My ship's being just highlighted by the spotlights. Uh, right, and those are 30 degrees, so you just easily press 30 in order to get to them quick. We can cut their colors down here ever so slightly to soften the light. And we can even pull their radiuses back even. Only do it to 100. Drop their intensities so it's not so harsh. And, uh... Oh. That is looking absolutely amazing. Now, the next bit of lights we need is going to be some runway lights. Some, like, red and whatever flashing lights are going to be right in the runway. So I don't think we need to use any of these spotlights or any of that pack. We could use some rotating lights. Oh, I could probably put rotating lights on the top of these in order for you not to uh, run into them. I'll probably put some kind of... Oh, I could put the searchlight on top of these. Oh, that would look so good! Okay, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I, I talked myself into it. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, pair of searchlights up there. Freaking amazing. Turn this off. See the searchlights just going out there and illuminating the trees. <laughs> oh! It's so good! Oh, it's so good! 
And, you know, why not? When we have these towers, why not just absolutely fill them with lights? Get spotlights on every little bit of it. So there are my spotlight towers. Look at that. Oh, that looks real good. That just illuminates the entire area. Okay, now we can get back to uh, putting lights right into the runways themselves. Yeah, turn the lights on at the specter. So we could use some inset lights, which are kind of awesome. They're, they're, they're fun lights. Uh, we can just plunk a few right into the terrain here, give them different colors, get them to uh, do their stuff. Uh, alternatively, we can do some corner lights, so we can have some corners like this facing inwards, giving us different colors. Uh, some interior lights, those are pretty nice as well. Uh, uh, even some light panels. Whole thing, although that's kind of a little excessive. I think we might just do a little array of corner lights. So I think just the sort of interior lights. So I think just in the corners here. Uh, four lights. And we can arrange them in a blinking pattern. So do those four first. And we'll go interior lights, and there are only four interior lights, which so is going to make life easy. And these are going to be interior lights, dock one. Ah. Dock two. Dock. Yeah, dock one. And what we're going to do is we're going to set them out. Doesn't matter what color they are right now or any of this radius here. We're going to have a blink interval of like one second. And for each one, we're going to delay it by additional 25%. So that's 25% delayed. This is 50% delayed. And this is 75% delayed. So now what that should do, if I did it correctly, yeah, they're blinking in sequence going around like that. Hell yes. And so if we go and turn the lights off over here at the specter, We've got the l runway lights blinking away. Nice interior lights. Now we can raise the radius if we wish. But I think having just like a, a 2.5, one block or something like that. And drop the intensity. I'll have to play with these values. But I don't think they should be white. So we can get a green, or we want to get a yellow here. There we go. That is a nice yellow. And so we get these four blinking yellow lights going around in circles, showing off where the landing pad is. Oh, that looks good. some random freight things too. And while we're here, we can add some random doodads and stuff in order to make this place look great. So, go grab some interior plate. That's computers. All right, let's just cut that last little bit. We'll start from here. 
So we've got some wonderful spotlights showing off our new flashing landing pads here. But to make it look a bit more lived in, we're going to add a few bits and bobs around the place. So stuff like just putting a little, uh, little pile of freight. So we'll put this freight here and we'll put some freight like that there and over here we'll have like a cargo crate although i need some steel plate for that and we'll just oops, what did i get steel plate i had it did i have something else in my build planner i don't know can i get some steel plate for that <laughs> And just have a few bits and bobs like that around the area in order to make it look lived in and like it's an actual active spaceport. And then, I think this place will be functional. Leave that open there. Build this stuff up. And there we go. With just a few little doodads here and there, we have got a, a cool looking docking port. Now we got some of these containers here, some barrels, some boxes, some shelves, some stuff. Perfect for my construction ship as it comes in here to land and get re-equipped re to go out and build some more stuff as well as we got our blinky lights and just a splash of paint our little warning lights of uh like the warning paint of don't go any closer and then the 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 thruster scorched dark metal here as well just like when you're at the airport or whatever and they say like oh just follow the blue line in order to get to your uh terminal god that's the word how how did my brain just not know the word terminal but yeah just fall you get here and you just come on up and eh, maybe i wanted to start there you know you just come to here and you go like all right which one are we gonna follow i want to go to the blue you just follow the blue and you go ah hey it's my construction ship i follow the right line and that oh is gonna look so good and now all i need to do is similar sort of layout, color scheme, and doodad placement for this one, and then finish building this, which is going to take a while, but we'll get it done. But for now, I'm going to activate the lights on the specter so I can actually see what's going on around here. That's going to be it for now. We have made some good progress on this landing bay. And I'll get it fully built up and decorated for the next episode. But thanks for watching, and good hunting out there, fellow space engineers.